Something magic happens Every time you go You make the magic happen The magic of Orioles baseball Hey guys, how's everybody doing today? Autographs 2000 here. And in today's video, I have got four autographs through the mail TTMs. And I'm also going to show you some TTM fuel that I have purchased from the Trading Card da Database. As always, we will start with some TTMs. The first one comes to us from Orlando, Florida. And we have got George Minterwald. He signed three of three in nine days. He had a career batting average of 236 with 76 home runs, 301 RBIs. He played 11 years. He appeared in 887 games. He played from 66 to 77. And he played with Minnesota and the Cubs. His best year was in 1973. When he hit 16 home runs, knocked in 64, and batted 259. George Mitterwald. All right, our second return is from Tacoma, Washington. And we've got Bob Reynolds. He signed three of three in 11 days. He had a career record of 14 and 16 with a 3.15 ERA. He played six years, appeared in 140 games. He played from 69 to 75. And he played with Montreal, St. Louis, Milwaukee, Baltimore, Detroit, and Cleveland. Um, his best years in 1973 when he went seven and five with a 1.95 ERA, and he also had a career high nine saves. Again, that is Bob Reynolds. All right, our third return comes to us from Parts Unknown. And we've got David Clyde. He signed three of three in 85 days. He had a career record of 18 and 33 with a 4.63 ERA. He played five years, appeared in 84 games. He played from 73 to 79. And he played with Texas and Cleveland. And the story behind David Clyde is he was the number one draft pick, or he was the number one pick in the 73 draft straight out of high school. He was 18 years old. He got drafted to the Rangers. At the time, the Rangers' um, attendance was the second worst in the league. And so the owner of the Rangers said he was going to pitch David Clyde two games, two home games, to uh, bolster attendance. And then after those two games, he was going to send him down to the minors. Well, his first two games, he did very well. Well enough that they said, hey, you're going to stay up here. And he got shelled the rest of the season. And then the next season, next season he started off good as, as well. And then he got, sh you know, shelled again. And he ended up with a 18-33 and 33 record. Um, he had shoulder pain, shoulder injuries. He was out of baseball at the age of 26. And he is the poster boy for how to not manage a young pitching arm out of high school. So he came in, you drafted him when he was 18, and by the time he was 26, he was out of baseball because of arm and shoulder issues. 
All right, before we get to our last return, I'm gonna show you this stack of TTM fuel that I got from the Trading Card Database. Um, I believe I have 85 cards here, and I paid a total of $27 shipped. So we got Jim York, Jack Heideman, Steve Hargan, Dave Goltz, Ray Bork, Dave Roberts, Gary Sutherland, Ken Holtzman, Doug Raw, Larvell Blanks, Dave Goltz again, Bill Grief, another Jim York, Terry Harmon, Rudy Mioli, I think we saw him on our last video. We got Dell Unser, Bill Campbell, I don't think he's gonna sign, Rob Gilbreth, Johnny Grubb, Phil Roof, Hank Webb, Gary Nolan, Buddy Bradford, Joe McIntosh, Ron Schooler, Ken Coble, Tom Hall, Bob Alietta, Bill Grief, Ron Schooler, Dave Duncan, another Terry Harmon, we got Buzz Capra, Jack Heideman, John Hiller, Richie Hebner, Ron Schooler again, Don Stanhouse, Ken Coble, Don Stanhouse with that sweet hairdo, Duffy Dyer, Mark Lee, Sam Beto, Bo Setti, Jim Beatty, John Lowenstein, which will go in the PC. He will not be a TTMer. Glenn Hubbard. So a lot of these guys I've never written to before, never sent to, didn't have cards for them. So this is this is the way I get my TTM fuel. I get it on the trading card database. Don Stanhouse. Ron Gardenhier, Brian Kingman, Pacella, Dave Dravecki. I am looking forward to seeing some blue ink on that card at Glenn Hubbard. Joe Johnson, Tom Spencer, Bobby Meacham, Gerald Young, Gerald Young, Mike Schooler, Brian McCray, Brady Anderson for the PC, Ben McDonald for the PC. We got Pete O'Brien. Scott Pose, Frank Bullock, Scott Pose, The Fanatic, and then we got some football. We got Mark Van Egan, Steve Grogan, Van Egan, Grogan, Van Egan, Charlie Joyner, Steve Grogan, Bobby Abair, Kevin Butler, and again, another Thane Gash. Mike Rogier, Bobby Abair, Thane Gash, Ricky Reynolds. We have Austin Colley, Joey Bosa, and another Joey Bosa. So again, that was 85 cards and it was $27 delivered. So that was a pretty sweet deal. And I hope you guys, I hope I get to show you those here in the near future with some blue ink on them. All right, our last return is from Atlanta Metro. We have got a football return. We have got William Andrews. He signed three of three in 16 days. During his career, he had 5,986 rushing yards, 30 rushing touchdowns. He also had four receiving touchdowns. He played six years, appeared in 87 games. He played his entire career with the Atlanta Falcons. Um, he was a four-time Pro Bowler. Um, four times he rushed for over 1,000 yards. In 1983, that was his best year. He um, had 1,567 yards, rushing yards, with seven touchdowns. He also had 609 receiving yards and four touchdowns. And then at the beginning of the 84 season, he suffered a devastating knee injury that took him out of the game for two years. And then he came back in 86, but when he came back in 86, he was basically a tight end. That's William Andrews. So he had 
four solid good years, a thousand yards, and then devastating knee injury, and that pretty much ended his career. Um, during his playing days, he was known for being a hard hitting, hard hitting running back. And Ronnie Lott, who was also a hard hitting defensive back, said that one time him and Andrews had a head on collision with each other. And that was the hardest hit that he had had during his entire NFL career. That's saying a lot coming from Ronnie Lott because he was delivering some hits during his career. All right, guys, that's going to do it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please smash that like button. If you're not subscribed yet, please do so. And until next time, guys, Autographs 2000 is out.